Hey guys, it's Forsaken Reality here, and in this one I'm going to be implementing the rolling component to a blank project. For the most part, this process is the same across any asset, but I'll be going over different implement implementations with other assets, such as survival game kit, maybe first person shooter kit, and things like that. Um, I'll also go over anything you may have an, a question about, because for example, there's the shift jump in this project, and you might not want to do that. You might want to only dodge while you're in combat, for example, or while you're aiming, and if not, you'll do your regular jump. So I'll also show you how to do that in other videos as well, so you don't have to worry about being restricted to the shift jump method, which is default in this project. So without further ado, we'll get into implementing this, and I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible just to see how long it takes. So starting now, you want to migrate all your files over to your project's content folder. So select that folder, migrate it in, and you can close out of this now. So I have my project blank project here, 4.26. I have my rolling component in. Go to my project settings, inputs, action mappings, go to jump, and for now I'm just going to set the space bar to shift. Click plus, create a dodge input, name that whatever you'd like, space bar, and we'll add four more for W, A, S, so that our inputs created and we just close out of our project settings now and now we'll want to go to our meshes in our rolling component select our skeleton select humanoid save and then go to our blank one or your character skeleton it's the same process so far across any project. You need to do this. Make sure they're humanoid. And go to your meshes in the rolling component. Your rolling component skeleton. And retarget to another skeleton. And click retarget. And that will send the animations to the new skeleton. And now we can open up our character blueprint, so in here it's in the third person blueprint, the third person character, and we can go to our rolling component, and third person character in here as well, and you can either cop, first we'll want to create the rolling component over here, so they've been rolling, and I'll save that, you want to control C the input right here, and that's just a slow motion testing. You can take that if you want, it just toggles on and off slow motion. And paste this into your character, and we have a different input name than dodge. So we'll want dodge input, plug in the key, press spacebar, and last key and save that, and you're done with your character. So save all, and want to go to our animation blueprint in our rolling component, and our animation blueprint in here, which is in our mannequin for this specific one, and you notice there's no default state in here. So it's adjust this specifically, but since there's no cat save pose, this is just so you can reuse, plug it in the multiple areas, basically. Um, so we have our locomotion cache, and then get your slot default. And this will allow the montages to play. If 
but we'll want to play upper and lower body for more complex assets. We may need to do some changes here. And I'll do different showcases to show exactly how you do that. For now, we're just going to plug this in like here. And I was going to copy that over, but you don't, don't really need to do much. And there's our final pose set up. And if you copied that layer blend per bone over, you'd get all this, all these settings here. So you want, so you want to copy that over instead of refilling them all out. And now to end the animation, you simply just want to come over here. And come into your event graph for the climbing component or the rolling component. And I'm just going to copy this because there's no reference to the character yet in this one. But if you have a reference to the character, you'd want to get your just the animation notify and plug your character reference in there. But if you don't, this one creates some reference to all characters. So any character you create will be a child of this class. Like for example, right here, you can see that this is a child of the character. And then you have your animation notify in. And this is the third person character from the rolling system. Double checking. And now we have dodging, directional dodging. And you can see it's because the camera angle is like that, but it's picking up each direction. Maybe hold shift and jump. You'll do your normal jumps, and I'm just going to character movement, scroll down, tick this on, for use control desired, and tick that off. Now you can actually see it directionally like this. Uh, you could have probably had it, got it done a little bit quicker than that, but I did a little bit more explaining on, on a few things. And so that'll be everything for this one. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, leave those in the comment section below or join my community discord. And I will see you all in the next one.